Welcome to yet another video of Tracking the Changes, a series of videos that tracks what's happening in the digital landscape and in the real world marketplace and gives you the insights which you need in order to integrate your growing knowledge and awareness of these changes to benefit your business and arguably your life. We're going to start today by talking about perception and expectations. It is no secret in the neuroscientific world that our perception of the world is influenced by our expectations. These expectations are also called prior beliefs and they help us make sense of what we perceive in the moment through a filtering of past experiences we have encountered. The process of combining the prior knowledge with uncertain evidence is known as Bayesian integration and is believed to widely uh, impact our perception, our thoughts, our actions, our decision-making and the outcomes which we hope to get. All of this, of course, is highly academic. So in order to illustrate how it impacts us directly, I'm going to use an example from the current global pandemic situation. Now, we all know, even though some of us would like to debate, the scientific basis uh, behind wearing a mask. Masks protect us from uh, catching the COVID virus, they protect others from being infected if we are carriers, and they protect us from others if they are carriers. None of this scientifically is debatable, but undoubtedly in the long scheme of things where we may potentially catch a virus that may potentially threaten our life, we are prepared to take risks because we feel the um, current predicament of losing visual communication with others because we can't uh, sort of show our face, um, being uh, awkward in social situations because we're all wearing masks, and also the general discomfort that wearing a mask actually elicits in terms of how it makes us feel and our own perception of how it makes us look. So, within that context, there are documented cases of many individuals who are highly logical and highly intelligent and yet they are reticent to wear a mask until they absolutely have to. How does this now change when we factor into this equation the current news that Pfizer is bringing out a vaccine with a 90% efficacy and that may protect us from the virus? Suddenly, because we know this is going to happen in the imminent future, the value we place upon wearing a mask changes because now we know it's a waiting game and it would make sense for us to not catch the virus in the immediate uh, future in front of us until a vaccine is widely available. And that shows, a, in, in, in a nutshell, how expectations of what is about to happen change our perception of the facts in the world, which then changes the value we place upon specific actions which then changes our behavior, which then may also change completely the outcomes we'll get. Now, how do you factor this into your own marketing? And the question is, if you're doing business, if you're doing marketing, do you really fully take into account the expectations of your customers? Do you fully take into account the um, outcomes they will hope to achieve through certain actions? And do you factor in how those expectations which they may have are projected through what you do in your own marketing. It takes a little bit of thinking about, but it will actually, if you think about it and process it, it will change the way you approach, how you project yourselves, how you create the common touch points between a business and its customers, and how you create the common framework through which better communication um, takes place. I hope all this helps. Don't forget to subscribe to the videos if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the description box on YouTube because there are links to deeper stuff about this which will make you think more and also will give you a little bit more granularity to everything that's happening. I hope this helps. Take care.